Oh boy, am I excited for this set. <laughs> so, so for VIP weekend, I got this set. Um, for some reason, these came early, these two top ones. So they came in separate packages, which was weird, but let's open this. They used a weird box. Like, okay. Kind of a nice box, actually. Whoa, look at that. I can see now why they did this. I think this was packaged in this box and they just shipped it in it, which is kind of smart. And look at that, there it is, Ninjago City Gardens. That looks epic, so I just wanna get right to building, so let's do that. I don't know how to fit this in frame. This is Ninjago City Gardens, and it's uh insane. <laughs> this is one of my new favorite Lego sets. It is, I think, probably one of the tallest ones I have as well. Um, probably taller than the wind turbine and all that. Like, this is an insane set. <laughs> And I don't even know how I'm going to be able to review it. I probably won't even get to everything. So this set I got because uh, I regret not getting Ninjago City and the Docks one as well. I will 100% get those two eventually. I promise. So um, I don't know how to start. Guess from the top down because that's how it disassembles. So this is Ninjago. I don't watch Ninjago at all. I don't uh, really know anything about it. But it's such a beautiful set. I had to get it regardless, right? So just going on the outside here. Look at all that detail. It's huge, there's this tower. Basically, the style of it is there's different levels. There's shops up here and then a level, and then below here, another level. And this one is like built on stone. It looks older, so it's kind of like the city evolved and just kept building on top of each other. There's even water at the bottom. So the top has this huge tower. It is very cool, <laughs> and it just comes off like that. So um, in here, I'm not gonna take it off, but there's like a, a ninja in there wearing white or something. I don't know any of the characters, right? And then in there, there's another ninja, you know? So it's, it's like a radio tower is what it looks like to me. And it doesn't fit on the shelves, so uh, I have to just put this one right here. Just like that. <laughs> it's the only place that this thing will fit. And look at that. It just scrapes the top. That's insane. And this is still taller than uh, most of my modulars, I would say. Probably taller than the town hall. Like... It's insane, dude. So up here on the very top level is a very cool skylight into a museum. So uh, we'll get into that later. But right here, you can see like a clownfish type of thing. It's like a clownfish and inside is this sort of gaming den. There's so many details in here, like an arcade, gaming guy. I can't go through it all. I'm sorry, there's just so much detail. On the other side here, there's this like flying bike, space bike. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And up here, look at that, a red ninja. Oh my god. And I think this is sort of like a temple type of thing, you know? Like right there, there's a little table with a plant, and over here, a cool little safe with a, a thing inside. I don't know what that reference is. Now, before I keep taking things off, I do want to show the backside just quickly here because you can see how intricate it is from all sides. It's detailed from all sides and looks amazing from all angles. Like, look at all this. <laughs> there's like... You know, a ladder to get to places and different pathways. There's stairs going down to the next level. It's insane. Got some windows overlooking everything. Like, <laughs> it's awesome, dude. This is a crazy awesome set. Now, I do want to say this advertisement for, I believe, Space Police. There is uh, other advertisements stuffed in here. So there's a whole crap ton of detail. Also here, look at that cool telescope. Anyway, let's take this little segment off. All right, there's one. Probably should have taken this off i think that's on top yeah so look at that nice tree there inside there's like a skeleton of a dragon model looking thing that's cool this is uh this just comes off in one section as well <laughs> oh my god what is cool is all the building techniques like those are treasure chest lids like what anyway the next floor you can see right here is just the museum so here's the entrance to the museum right you got a lot of different artifacts it is really cool see in there oh yeah this isn't a part of it this was just the figure that came with it, but I just put it in there because it looks like a gold statue anyway. But yeah, I assume there's a, you know, I think that's probably an artifact. There's a bunch of artifacts everywhere, which is really cool. Now, something that I really love is this figure here, Clutch Powers. <laughs> it comes with Clutch Powers, dude. I grew up with this guy as a kid and he's evolved. He has an eye patch on now. So that's crazy. Look at this. I grew up with Clutch Powers. So, um, he's off on another adventure in friggin' Ninjago City, dude. Holy. Anyway, on this right here, look at that. Just crazy different details on the sides. Like, it's insane. <laughs> Even this, like, roller coaster piece, like, what? On the very far end, there's this house. You can see this ladder here would, would have taken you up to the, uh, to this place, right? So that's cool. Inside, there's a person and 
she just lives here. She has like an art studio set up, which is cool, and a balcony looking over things. On this side, there's a telescope. Like, it's just so cool, dude. It's insane. And uh, here's the entrance down there. So that's how you would get to the museum. So let's take all this off. Really? I, I've never actually taken off these floors before. I don't know how they come off. Just in one section, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that actually didn't come apart in a bad way. So that's how you can see more of the inside. Look at all those details. Different museum artifacts and pieces. It's very cool. There's even a hole in the wall here between the poster boards. Uh, so yeah, that's how they put this wall on. So it's supposed to be modular. You're supposed to be able to take this off to get in there. Like, it just goes on like that. Very simple and nice. Very easy to put in. But anyway, the next level is even cooler. Actually, maybe not, but this next level has a... Uh, an ice cream shop in here like a nice cool ice cream parlor it's really awesome here is the stairs going up to the museum level and here's a nice tree you can see the tree down below just grows through which is cool i guess that's why it's called a garden on the other side of this level there's like a i don't know a noodle restaurant <laughs> something like that like look at that guy and in there there's just the restaurant and this guy i don't know what he is he's like a cleaning droid anyway <laughs> so you could just Take all these shops out. I believe that's how it is. The whole level comes off. Ah, there we go. Yeah, like that. Okay. So yeah, that level just comes off in one whole section there. So that's cool. And now we're getting really down into it. Here's the bottom section. Very interesting. So here we got a businessman. I guess this is a house, right? Like, look at all these details. Look at that window. That's insane, bro. So just this thing comes out like that. Not really, though. You can see it's actually two levels, so here's the other side of that. This is supposed to stay on. <laughs> this is uh, kind of like a dock almost. You can see they have a nice view of the water on the other side there. And uh, they're selling something. Probably like, I don't know, actually. Just stuff. Probably fish or something like that, you know. But then this actually removes. There's a trap door in here. And you can see all their valuables. They sell. I don't really know what all this stuff is though, probably references to the show. Now the other side has a, I don't know, a bedroom of a Ninjago fan. I believe all the things on the shelf are like, you know, Ninjago references and stuff and they have a Ninjago bedspread. And you can actually remove this level as well. Now this level seems to be another restaurant, which is cool, ground floor restaurant. And you can actually take that off too, just to reveal some pipes. And so this is what you're left with, the bare bones. So you can see just the, the big path that it's built on the whole city <laughs> huge pillar and this big half of a tree with a bench out front i love all the like vine details and just stuff like that is so cool you can definitely tell it's a garden now over here check that out a nice shrub holy crap what i really like is this uh i know this was in all the other sets but like they use tiles underneath the smooth tiles to make it seem like this is deeper water than this you can see it's green and then goes black like it's shallow and deep and it looks really nice like it's so it's just perfect anyway this part here is the actual garden part so uh i don't know what it's called but it's like a gazebo looking thing there's uh some bridges over nice stone path and then a monument statue thing so i know this guy's a character in the show or something like that it's uh it's to honor him or something i don't know yeah i don't really know what it is but it's cool you know it looks cool so that is the ninjago garden set i'll reassemble it now I don't even know how it reassembles, I kind of forgot. So yeah, that is the uh, my review of Ninjago City Gardens. I should probably do a more in-depth one because this is too insane. Definitely a hugely detailed set, so amazing. So many minifigures too, I didn't even show all of them. They're just in there, you know, <laughs> living life in Ninjago City. So it's an amazing set. If you can get it, definitely do that. You know, like, don't miss this set. The other ones I miss and I'm angry about. This will skyrocket in price. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this. Subscribe for more. And, of course, I'm not showing myself because <laughs> this is just too great to, sh to not keep filming. <sighs> Fly on.